What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Just as Turn 10 promised, we have our first Forza Motorsport update 1.0. Today I'm going to go over the most important updates that have been made to the game. And as always, if you find today's video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Forza videos just like this one. With this 1.0 patch, of course, there have been many lighting and texture fixes on multiple cars and also a couple of tracks. A lot of game crashing scenarios have been found and patched, as well as a physics update that actually improves tire wear for wet tires when track wetness levels are moderate. So I guess beforehand, when you're on wet tires, they were wearing out a little prematurely, so interesting to see how long wet tires are going to last now. Our biggest updates are focused on game progression and, of course, multiplayer. Exclusive to Xbox consoles, an issue has been fixed that was causing players to lose gameplay progress if they continued playing Forza after a new game update had been released. And an even bigger update, and applying to all platforms, is that car part unlock levels have been adjusted to increase player upgrade options at lower car levels. Most car parts should now be unlocked within a single Builder's Cup series, which is actually great to hear because I've been in the career mode a little bit now, I've completed entire series championships, and at the end of some of these, I still don't have everything unlocked for a car. So it's definitely going to make it more enjoyable and more fun to level up these cars a little bit faster and be more competitive right off the get-go. And this will also transfer into multiplayer racing, where you can actually take a competitive tuned car to the track and race against others a lot quicker than before. And speaking of multiplayer updates, gone are the impossible lap time exploits in qualifying, which I know a lot of us found super annoying. And gone is also the issue of not being able to take control of your car after pit stops, which I know happened to me a couple of times and was also super frustrating but probably one of the biggest complaints that I've heard about and I'm sure all of you have heard about with multiplayer is all of the shameful ramming. All of the people running into you when you're trying to have a clean race, penalty after penalty, it's really been frustrating at times. But an issue has been resolved where at times incorrect safety ratings and driver skill ratings were used for matchmaking. Now I will be honest, I didn't have trouble all the time finding good races, but they were very far and few between, which leads me to believe the matchmaking in Forza was very broken, but hopefully now is fixed and is working correctly, because this would really help the game out a lot and put to rest a lot of negativity towards the game. I'm really hoping this multiplayer update is a step in the right direction towards getting in some clean racing. If you guys want to read the full list of patch notes, I will leave a link down in the description below so you can read them all for yourself. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful, and tell me down in the comments if you've noticed any improvements while playing Motorsport yet, especially in multiplayer. And tell me what improvements you've been hoping for and hope to see in the next update. Don't forget to subscribe for more Forza videos just like this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.